Well, the TH11 weather team is always looking to break down complex science information so you can better understand the weather. Well, last week we found out what the science says when it comes to cows predicting the weather, but now there's talk about woolly caterpillars in the south doing the same thing. TH11 meteorologist Corrales Ortiz takes a look at this myth. Ever see these fuzzy fellas? According to folklore, the color of a woolly bear caterpillar, known as the woolly worm here in the south, can be used to determine how severe an upcoming winter season could be locally. But how did these caterpillars become popular for winter weather predictions? Well, the amount of black versus orange coloring on the caterpillar has been used by some to guess the type of winter that's expected for the year. Blacker coloring meant a more severe winter versus orange representing a more milder winter. The theory was for first popularized by Canadian entomologist Dr. Howard C. Curran, who was a curator of insects at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. In 1948, while studying the woolly caterpillars and their color, he noticed that many of the caterpillars he tested had wide orange bands, and it so happened to be a milder than average winter that year. His study was then published in the New York Herald Tribune. Some still believe this theory, even breaking down the coloring to more specific predictions. If the head end of the caterpillar is dark, the beginning of winter will be severe. If the tail end is dark, then the end of winter will be cold. Others just do it for fun. The coloring can be due to many factors such as woolly caterpillar's age, the type of species, and even its feeding habits. So again, can a fuzzy caterpillar be used to predict winter weather? The science tells us no. With THB 11, I'm Corrales Ortiz. If you have any type of weather related misconceptions, folklore, or just questions you want Corrales to explain, send her an email at corteas at th11.com or reach out to her on Facebook and Twitter.